Good morning, everyone. I'm John Berman. This morning, we do have breaking news. The suspected Austin serial bomber is dead. Moments ago, police identified him as 24-year-old Mark Anthony Condit. Police say this man blew himself up as a SWAT team was approaching his car. Now, despite his death, police are warning that this threat is not over. We don't know where this suspect has spent his last 24 hours. We still need to remain vigilant to ensure that no other packages or devices have been left through the community. Our Ed Lavendera is live in Round Rock, just north of Austin, where this all ended last night. Ed, what's the latest? Well, investigators are still here at the scene. Some of the lanes of the southbound section of Interstate 35 are starting to reopen, but you can still see there across the interstate uh, the command vehicles that are still working the scene. That is where the surreal end of this hunt for the suspected serial bomber came to an end just a few hours ago. Uh, in, in the dead of night, uh, investigators were able to, using uh, cell phone triangulation, uh, track down uh, the man that they suspected to be the, the suspect, 24-year-old uh, Mark Condit, uh, in the parking lot of a hotel just up the road from here. And they sent a team out to uh, survey him and put eyes on him. And they were, that team was waiting for tactical units to show up uh, when the suspect left the parking lot, started driving away, and ended up driving into a ditch. A SWAT team jumped out and approached the car. And if that team did that, uh, authorities say the suspect uh, triggered a bomb that he had there in the car and blew himself up, John. So right now, and as you mentioned, leading into it, uh, still a great deal of concern as investigators are now starting to piece together the parts of his life, trying to determine uh, motivation for all of this, but also more importantly and more urgently right now this morning, uh, trying to make sure that there are no other explosive devices that have been left somewhere throughout the city or have already been mailed before they were able uh, to, to, to get close to him. So that is the kind of work that is taking place right now this morning, John. All right, Ed Lavendera for us in Round Rock. Ed, thanks very much. Joining me now is James